The average man is 5'9", 200 pounds. The UFC women are 5'6", 135 pounds. The women would be destroyed in a real fight. No, they wouldn't. Those women would absolutely kick the ass of the average 5'9", 200 pounds man. You want to know why? Yes, weight classes matter, and they're there for a reason. But not all weight is equal. And the average 200-pound, 5'9 man is just going to be a fat ass. They are going to be overly fat and not very muscular. So that added weight is not going to contribute all that much to added strength. In fact, it's going to actually hinder them because they're going to carry that unnecessary weight during the fight, which is going to cause them to fatigue far quicker. Those UFC women at 135 pounds, I would actually put money on them being able to squat, bench, and deadlift more than that average 5'9", 200 pounds man. That's not even getting into punching and kicking power, which they're almost definitely going to be better by superior technique. Not to mention, in an actual MMA fight, those UFC women are going to be way higher fight IQ. They're not going to stand there and just let the man bum rush them. They're going to move at angles that the average man is not going to be able to keep up with. And even someone that is a little bit stronger than them and significantly bigger than them, if they don't have technique and they don't have a bit of fight IQ, they're just going to get picked apart by little calf kicks and little jabs and little things like that until they fatigue and they can no longer defend themselves. Then that 135-pound woman is going to absolutely annihilate them. Preston, I'm sorry, man. You look like the average American male, and there's probably not a woman on the UFC roster right now that wouldn't absolutely destroy you in a fight. In fact, there's probably hundreds if not thousands of amateur women's MMA fighters that could destroy you, not to mention just women's athletes in general that could probably beat you up.